Welcome to Keeping It Young Podcast, conversations about marriage, family, and ministry life. I'm Dave. And I'm Beth Lee. And we are the Youngs. We are so happy to have you with us today. And I will say we are recording in Saginaw, Michigan, which is, you know, just where we are on the road right now. And we got to meet many, many listeners at Community Baptist Church in Saginaw, Michigan. I will say that's one of our favorite places to be. We have a lot of friends. Sure. It's always great to spend a day serving with friends. It is. And we love doing that. And we love, love, love the Jacksons. Yes, we do. Pastor and Mrs. Jackson have been our friends for a very long time, and we are super thankful for not only their friendship, but also their role model to us absolutely and the encouragement they are spiritually. I was just about to say that girls uh, Mrs. Kathy Jackson is a Titus 2 lady in every sense of the way and we've been talking every about sense that of the word it was right. I yeah okay there we go <laughs> way word and uh, Mrs. Kathy Jackson teaches a Sunday school class which they record and you can find it on your favorite podcaster Community Baptist Church Saginaw look it up you can find Mrs. Kathy Jackson I absolutely absolutely uh recommend her she is amazing and i send links to her podcast all the time to my girls because and it's I don't, so good i don't listen to her but i know a lot of what she teaches because bethley shares that with me yes and uh, so we certainly appreciate them and everybody needs people like that in their life who can encourage you and strengthen you and direct you and help you and be a blessing to you yes so we're very thankful for them we are and i've spent this summer in a lot of teen camps and it's uh, and even one, we did one family camp together this summer. Yes, and we have been amazed. And e- every week I've been in, I've had teenagers say to us, "Hey, we know your voice because our parents <laughs> listen to you in the car." <laughs> And, uh, oh, so I love that. We have enjoyed so much that that's always encouraging to us. And Bethany and I really never dream when we started this podcast. We never thought like you know we would have uh, as many listeners who we do, and and we just we're just really amazed by that. God's been so good to us for crying out loud, right? And uh, we are so blessed. And we've and met new friends because yes, we have. We've been on the road, and people have said, "Hey, I listened to your podcast," and so we've become and friends. Our family joke is our family joke is if we're watching people, Bethany and I love to watch people, and we travel a ton, so we're around a ton of different people and our family joke is we'll watch a family you know that's really struggling or someone that's whose kids are just out of control and they obviously are frustrated and don't know what to do and uh, so like our charity will say uh, I know a podcast that would help with that <laughs> and uh, so sometimes we'll, we'll joke about that as well you know we know a podcast that could maybe help them a little bit but it's true mm. that our heart is to help people and it our is. heart is to help you. And we're so thankful that you've joined us again today. Hey, uh, we, we don't always say, you know, anything about our sponsors, but we do. Th- are we are thankful for MyPillow.com. And if you use our p- promo code YOUNG, they do support us. And that's always a help. Yes, and we're and thankful for that. I'm just thankful for my pillow. <laughs> yes, she is. And her little slippers. <laughs> and my slippers and towels and sheets. Yes. Yeah, so we're very thankful for it. <laughs> and uh, that was, uh, that's was that been a good relationship for us. And, you know, I also, we're an affiliate of Covenant Eyes. Yes. And you can sign up for a free trial there using our promo code. Add the letters D N B young yes, and uh, that will get you a free trial there and then we're also thankful for the support of the church crew.com mm-hmm. and uh, i've had great feedback from that so if, let these sponsors know that uh, you know you appreciate them and their partnership with us but also check them out and yes. evaluate them are you ready to get started today we are we are hopefully on the downward slide we are on the downward <laughs> side of this particular series oh, on teaching our boys to be men teaching our girls to be ladies yes and we're right in the middle of teaching our girls to be ladies so what we've taught so far is you start with the bible and we laid out there that god is pro-biblical femininity there are great women in the bible who were incredible role models of femininity motherhood wifehood all yes. of that And then Bethy taught us that we've got to teach her to know her creator. Creation gives our daughters origin, foundation, and purpose. And God has offered women a very high and holy calling in a messed up world. Right. And it gives her confidence. Instead of being confused, she can have confidence in who God created her to be. And so then where we were last week was we were talking about we have to teach our daughters to know God's expectation and embrace them. Yes. And Titus 2 is a great place to go. Mom, review that. And as the, uh, for lack of a better term here in the King James, the aged woman in your daughter's <laughs> life, uh, you have yeah. you have things to be helping her to think through. He he's you know he points out there we've got to teach our daughters to be sober, which is a Bible way of saying 
to think seriously about the issues of life. Yes. And there are unique issues uh, for a young lady to be aware of. And he lays out there everything from what does it mean to be a wife? And if I get married, what kind of relationship should I have with my husband? Right. And what does it mean to have children? And and how am I going to train them? And is that a good thing? Mm -hmm. One of the things we have noticed in our travels is when we meet a young lady who has been trained by her parents to be a godly lady who's gentle 